Well, who do I have here with me today? Uh, my name is Bill Hunter. I'm with uh, Far Out Media. Uh, Far Out Media. Yeah, P H A R R. And uh, the name comes from uh, my middle name is Far. Oh, it is. It is. And so it's a take on Far Out because I'm old. Oh, that's and we pretty used cool. To, we used to say that when I was a kid. You know. I do. I remember the Far Out, dude. Yeah, dude, exactly. The eighties. Exactly. So uh, to take off of my name and that phrase. So, and you're a photographer, and great. you do. Anybody, everybody, what's your specialty or anything? Well, you don't mind me asking? Oh, I don't mind. Um, so, so my photography journey, I've been doing photography for about 30 years. Um, I served in the Marines. I fell in love with photography when I was in the Marines. I got out and said, I want to go places. So I started doing hiking and shooting nature and landscapes and that kind of stuff um, up in the North Carolina mountains. So oh, it's beautiful, man. It I've been is. There. I've been it is. There. So a lot of waterfalls, a lot of fall foliage. So I would go up for like a week. This was back in the film days before digital cameras. Are you from North Carolina? Yes. You're originally from I'm North Carolina? originally from North Carolina. From a, a small town called Baker. Well, I don't even know if it's a town. It's called Baker's. It's a crossroads. There is a, a, a volunteer fire department, a grocery store, and a really bad greasy restaurant that constantly changes its names and owners. Um, and there's a slate quarry right there so oh wow so that was i grew up there so now it's actually in the inside the city limits of monroe north carolina okay and so back then monroe was the city limits was 25 30 miles away wow so they've annexed oh yeah it's, oh wow they want the tax dollars oh yeah oh yeah yeah so i'm sorry go ahead so um <clears throat> so i started i did photography i, I got out of the uh, marines and i started doing it as a hobby um, doing um, landscape and that kind of stuff. And then I got interested in uh, shooting people. Um, so I started to dabble in finding people and people that wanted to model that kind of stuff. Shot a couple of people. Uh, I met, uh, I started uh, getting involved with other photographers, photographer organizations. And one of the a gentleman that I was a photographer friend, um, uh, he, uh, he uh, introduced me to a modeling agency in Charlotte. Um, so I started shooting um, models for them. And that's the reason to get in the biz. Well, yes. It's beautiful. Yes. But, well, it's, it's, all, it's got this mystique to it, but it's not. I mean, to me, it, it's not. So back in the day, you had a 36 exposure roll of film, right? So I would get a model. I would have a, a, a makeup artist, and, and then a model would come. Uh, the makeup artist would have them for 30 minutes, then I would get them for an hour. I would shoot uh, 12 images in a outfit, and then 12 images in another outfit, and then 12 images in another outfit. It's a 36 roll of film. And then they're done. Well, I would go on a Saturday. We would set up somewhere, like a park or something that had a lot of different places that I could put them the way they look like they're different um, areas and stuff like that, right? So I would do that, um, and I would shoot six or eight models a day. So the makeup artists would get them. So they would show up at like, uh, you know, at like 8.30. Makeup artists have them till 9. I have them from 9 to 10, right, to shoot them. And then the next model had already come 30 minutes earlier. So it's basically I shoot from one model, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11. A full 11 day. Time. Right. Now, um, everybody thinks these models are these uh, teenage girls that, um, that are like they drop dead gorgeous, okay? I would say... Maybe 20% of the models that I shot were like that. Uh, most of the models that I shot were, were kids to preteen, so um, eight to like say 13, 14, sure. guys and girls. And then the other uh, I, uh, group that I would shoot a lot of um, are the say 28 to 45 group. And these are people that have already done professional modeling at some uh, point. Okay. And, and so, so we're also talking about, you know, early 90s, uh, late 80s type of thing. So they're shooting for uh, like the Sears catalog and the advertisements that you get for clothing and stuff at like Macy's and Roses and all the other. The girl magazines. And well, all those. well, not necessarily. No, we're talking about like editorial stuff. So, oh, OK. So, for example, you get an, an advertisement for Beals. Right. And in there you look at the sweaters and jackets and pants and stuff. And sometimes. You don't even see their face. You see like an arm. You see like gloves, stuff okay, like that. Yeah. So that's the people that, oh, the kind of models that I would shoot 
is people that do modeling for a job, like a nine to five type job, not these people that <clears throat> go on one shoot and make thousands and thousands of dollars. Sure. And, yeah. So, I mean, there's so many people on the, on the, on the, not the one percenters, the one percenters that get all the advertisement and all that kind of stuff. But the people that, um, that do all the real work of all the stuff that you see every day and just yeah. breeze by those people. I'm a typical consumer. I'm just, I just see the end result. I don't right. see all of this behind. Right. So, I mean, for example, you'll have like a, a model that's going to do a shoot for a clothing line. So they're going to come in and they're going to, they're going to come to a studio. There's going to be three or four models, right? And, and they're going to have, there's going to be like eight or 10 people behind the scenes, not just the photographer, but you have makeup artists, you got the people that's getting their clothes ready. You've got the creative director, you got all these people. A model will come off, they'll switch clothes, they'll come back out and they just rotate models and clothing because they want pictures of this, this sweater in eight different colors, these pants in six different colors. So it's just a production. It's not glamorous like everybody yeah. thinks it is. So what's your specialty? Do you still do that today or do you have a specialty today? No, so I did that full time and and then also I rented a studio and did senior pictures, families, headshots, that kind of stuff back then on film. And back then a senior picture was cap and gown. Now senior picture is a portrait session. Right. Ah. So back then, I mean you ever see like the like the pictures of like Bill Gacy is wearing like his cap and gown and he got a little picture and it's like Olin Mills, JC Penny. Oh, oh Olin Mills, that's right. a name I remember. Right, right, right. So so that's the kind of stuff that I did way back then on film. Um, I started running a photo lab. So you remember Ecker Drugs? Of course. Okay, because they're from down here, Clearwater. Yeah. So I worked for Ecker Drugs running a one hour photo lab for them. Oh. And then um, I did photography, I ran a lab, and then a friend of mine goes, hey, we have an opening here. So I said, okay. So I jumped off from that and went into a full service lab. So I was doing enlargements and a custom editing in, with a, in a dark room. So I did that and then in photography at the same time. So that was my whole deal. Then when the dot-com thing started coming in, it was like, can you use a keyboard and a mouse? Do you know what Windows is, right? So I got into IT. So I did photography as a hobby instead of a full-time job. I did IT for 24 years. Um, and then in the beginning of 21, um, I wanted to get back into photography. I'm older in life. My retirement was going to be, I'm going to get back in photography and do that time and that's my retirement until I'm done on the earth right so that's what I was going to do um, and then you got all the COVID and all that kind of stuff to kind of just flip the table for everybody right um, so I got outsourced for IT so my part-time photography went to full-time photography so then I went all right I'm just I'm, I'll jump in so that's what I've been doing since January 21 has been doing photography. COVID changed everything man. yeah so um, so I've started out doing real estate and I did a lot of real estate when I lived in. At that when you point, say real estate, you're taking real estate pictures, or yeah, you're for, a, you're actually an agent. No, no, no. Uh, I'm shooting images okay. for realtors to sell houses. Okay. So this was um, this was in Georgia. I lived just north of Atlanta. I've been in Lakeland for about a year and a half. Moved down here. Um, so then I did real estate and I did uh, portraits and stuff like that because I wanted to get back to shooting people again. Um, then when I moved down here. Um, and just before I moved, I started working with small businesses to help them market their business, whatever it was, whether they, you know, whether they ran a cafe or to, to do marketing pictures for them. Sure. Right. So when I moved down here, um, real estate, um, it's, it's who you know in real estate, whether you're a realtor or a broker or whatever, it's who you know. So you have to build up a network. Well, I'm new in town. I don't know anybody. Why'd you, why'd you pick Lakeland? Um, well, my mother and father both passed away. My mother used to live in Winter Haven for a long time. And I had family that lived in Winter Haven and Orlando. So we would come down a lot. Okay. Do, back in the 70s, we would do Disney every year. That was our vacation. Come down, stay with my aunt and uncle, cousins and stuff, and go to Disney. And SeaWorld, that was the only thing that was here then, right? Um, so I would do that. Um, so um, when my mother was um, had to live with my sister, um, my sister wanted to move to Florida, so she moved to Haines City. Uh, and then my mother passed away down here, and my only family, other than my kids, uh, was my sister. So I wanted to move closer to her. She's got two kids. I've got three kids, that type of thing. Um, now all my kids are older, so they don't need to live with me. But 
So I want to get closer basically to the only, my only family member left, which was my sister. Oh, so I moved down here. So um, she lives, she lived in Haines City and she has, they just bought a new house in the villages. So they're, she's older than I am. So she's going to, um, she's going to do this semi-retirement and live in the villages. So you're for hire, is right. that right? Yeah. So what I, a lot of stuff that I do now, I have two different things. Um, <clears throat> one, I just launched a program that's called uh, Blue Collar Branding, and it's geared towards the trades. So people that do home renovations, uh, contractors, um, interior designers, and then people that do like the cabinets, the flooring, the painting when they do renovations. So a lot of those people uh, don't have quality images to show their craftsmanship, their branding, what they can do. People just scroll by or they go out to the website and they see it. And a lot of them will use like stock images, <clears throat> which is fine to put images up. But if you right click on that image and do a Google search, you have half a million other websites using exactly the same picture, right? Yeah. Um, and you're not you're not putting your your hard work, all your knowledge, your expertise, you're not putting it on display for people to see, right? So my goal with the, that program uh, is to try to uh, reach out to those people and give them some quality images so people can see what they do. And they so they can build their business. That's um, fantastic. And it's far out media. That's P H A R R A R R O U T M A D I A dot com. Correct. They can reach me there or Bill at same thing. And so um, I was talking to you earlier, and you're getting into a question, right? So I I shoot um, <clears throat> horses at, at uh, horse shows. So um, there are a lot of different styles. There's the eventing where you have hunter, jumper, and dressage. You have ranch where you have like raining and that kind of stuff. And, and, um, and rodeo style where you do barrels and that kind of thing uh, with horses. And then you add in, you know, bronc and bull riding and calf roping and that kind of stuff. So it's not necessarily just, um, we'll say, the, the upper class type horse events. Um, I like to get all of them. It's, it's fun and interesting to me to be able to shoot um, people and animals working together to do something. That's nice. Yes. So to capture something like that for somebody, for them to put it on their wall, not necessarily just put it on their social media for it to just go to the internet and go away. But, you know, you have to print a canvas and put it on the wall of them in that moment you know, doing that. Um, it That's speaks to some people, especially if you're talking about horse people. They've... They love their their animals just like you know people love dogs and cats and stuff like that. They, their animal is just bigger, of it's course, more, and they can ride it. So which is interesting. Yeah. Well, that's really good to hear. And so you're for hire for any events, basically anything. But well, so okay. So here's the thing about photographers. Okay, a photographer is just like a doctor. Okay, right. So I tell you I'm a doctor, and you go, I'm feeling this pain. And you go, okay, I'm a psychologist, but I'm a doctor, or I work on feet. Or I'm a psychiatrist, um, or I'm an emergency doctor. So you can say I'm a doctor, but I only do a certain thing. Well, I'm a photographer. A photographer does the same thing. So um, what I normally shoot is I do commercial photography. So I work with businesses okay. to help them promote themselves. Um, there is a B2B type of photographer, which is kind of where I'm at. And there's B2, B2C, which would be people that do like, Weddings, maternity, senior pictures. You're more B2B. I'm more of a B2B photographer. Um, I can uh, do events, but that's not my, my focus. Um, I have a couple of focuses. One is the marketing for businesses, which does include uh, business portraits and headshots. So I do a lot of that. And then I do marketing, whatever you come up with. But for example, I work with a company. They build custom furniture, like this table. So I went and I shot this table in in their environment so in a house uh in a business i would shoot their custom table for them to market that table um so i've done things like that i do shoot some real estate but i shoot more for the interior design builders uh, cabinet makers that kind of stuff than just straight realtors can i do it yes do i do it yes but that's not what i push Good. for now the other thing that i do is i just started with my fine art uh journey in that um, I shoot um, pretty much anything art-wise 
Um, so I shoot like small wildlife, nature, nature being a small scene, landscape being something large, right? So I'll shoot something like that. And then I go into Photoshop and I add a lot of different filters and tweak it and make it look like the, a watercolor painting or a oil color painting or a mix, a hybrid of the two together. And then I sell that art. So that's fantastic. So I'm going to be doing the festivals. I'm going to be at the Dixieland Night Market. Don't you have your stuff currently over at Venue Salon? Yes, I have, stuff, I have stuff at Venue Salon that's up. Uh, up on the wall. I had some stuff at a couple of other places, but you, you put it up for a certain amount of time and then it comes down. Um, so next month in March, um, I'll be at the night market, Dixieland night market, which is over at Union Hall. Oh, okay. So I'm going to be actually running a booth every month there. And I'm going to try to get into other small festivals around the central Florida area. So um, if you're, if you follow my social media, um, which you can find, uh, on my website or you follow my website you'll see updates of where i'm going to be and what i'm going to sell and i have um about 150 pieces currently on my website that you can purchase so a lot of different things going on i appreciate your time Bill. yeah thank you yeah, so much it's fun it's uh it's I, i've i've enjoyed uh getting involved in in lakeland um with the art association with some uh, volunteer volunteer work um, either through one of the local organizations or one of the local networking organizations to kind of get more entrenched build some roots sure they go deep not wide well that's the best thing about this community everybody works together everybody tries to help each other yeah i freaking love love lakeland yeah i've uh i i mean i came up on a small town so lakeland still has a little bit of a small town feel i like the fact that they have like a downtown squarish area um, so, you know, Monroe, North Carolina had the town square. They were actually, Monroe is the uh, county seat of the county. So they had like the courthouse and all that yeah. kind of stuff. You don't have that at Lakeland, but the, I like the, you have a downtown area. You don't just have a cross. And we're not the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're not, and they got the people. Yeah. And you have a lot of things to do. I love all the parks and stuff. I love going to Bonnet Springs. I've got so many really cool pictures of Bonnet Springs and the walkways oh, yeah. and all and the trees. Oh. I love the trees out there. They just hit their first year anniversary. Yeah. They just yeah. opened it last year. So, yeah, I go out. I, I shoot people, uh, animals, trees, the paths, everything uh, at Bonnet Springs. It's just, and I ride my bike there. So That's wonderful. It's, it's, it's fun. Well, thank. I want to thank Coach for letting me use this room. And uh, Bill at faroutmedia.com. Correct. Reach out. Be happy to help you. Yeah, outstanding. Thank you. Fantastic. Have a great day. God bless you, too.